Okay, now we are in uh, diffraction grating. So diffraction grating is also under diffraction. Uh, under diffraction, uh, still remember about uh, the category. Uh, category. So diffraction, we have single slit and diffraction grating. Uh, however, diffraction grating is considered like in-phase source. Yeah, in-phase source, that means the bright fringe use uh, M lambda, dark fringe use M plus half lambda. Uh, so actually, the diffraction grating in phase is just like double slit in phase. Uh, it's exa actually exactly like double slit. Okay, let's let us look back to uh, this diffraction grating. Okay, yeah. If you look at the formula, also similar to double slit. D sine theta equal to m lambda. Okay. So before we discuss about the formula, uh, let us uh, learn how how is it formed. Formation of diffraction grating pattern. Okay. Diffraction grating is a plate that contains many parallel slits. Uh, yeah, let me highlight. It has it is a plate that has many parallel lines or slits at uniform distance between one another. According to Huygens principle, is also according to Huygens. Um, when light is incident on a diffraction grating, all right, diffraction grating, each slit will become each slit. You see that each slit become a secondary source of light uh, become a source. Each slit, we can say each slit become a source of light. That's why uh, superposition, superposition of light waves uh, forms and will produce diffraction images of regular orders. Uh, regular orders on the screen. Okay, so again, this one is uh, each slit become the secondary source of light. So if you compare diffraction grating with single slit, uh, diffraction grating has many slit. Yeah, single slit means only one slit. Uh, actually, in other words, we can say uh, diffraction grating is uh, many slits. Uh, we have, uh, you see, we have um, double slit. We have double slits. We have single slit. We have diffraction uh, grating. Yeah, diffraction grating. Uh, so, uh, we can say actually a double slit is like two slits. A single slit means one slit. Diffraction grating means many slits. Uh, many slits. Uh, okay, many slits. So, many slits. It has uh, many slits. Huh? You see, uh, it has many slits. Uh, and each slit becomes a source of wave. Uh, each slit becomes a source of wave. And then, uh, let's say the first source and the second soft wave, they overlap each other to form the fringes. So, if you compare diffraction grating uh, with single slit, what's the difference? The difference is, diffraction grating, each slit becomes the source of light. Each slit will produce their own wave. Uh, each slit. Uh, each slit got, we can say, one slit, one wave. Uh, yeah? Each slit, each slit produce their own wave. Uh, each slit produce their own wave, and each slit, each slit becomes the source. Uh, this becomes the source of light. Each slit becomes the source of light. But for single slit, uh, each particle becomes the source of light. Look at here. Ah, uh, for for single slit, for single slit, it is um every point, every point uh on on the wavefront that become the source of secondary wavelet. Uh, this one is every point. Uh, you see that every point become the source. This become the source. This one yeah, every point become the source. Uh, that's a single slit. Single slit means every point become the source of light. But for diffraction grating, each slit, uh, each each slit become the source of wave. Uh, Single slit, it, every point, every point in the slit, every point in the slit produce, uh, we can say, every point, again, see, look at here, uh, for single slit, yeah, single slit, uh, every point on the slit becomes a source of wave, every point, but for diffraction grating, uh, every slit, every slit become the source of wave. Uh, so both also they overlap each other uh, and then form the diffraction images, diffraction patterns. 
Okay? Uh, so this is the one lah. Uh, this is the diffraction grating. Yeah, this is uh they highlighted yeah from here. This is actually uh, this one. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh, beam of monochromatic light means this one uh, monochromatic means only one wavelength one wavelength one color uh, like this one red color see uh, so this one magnified you got this one lah uh, many slits actually this diffraction grating has many slits it's just not shown here uh, it's many slits uh, it's how they overlap each other okay to form the fringe pattern uh, so you see uh, this one uh, uh, we only consider the for diffraction grating for diffraction grating, okay, we only consider bright fringe. We only consider uh, the bright fringe. Uh, we don't consider the dark fringe. Dark fringe we don't see. Yeah, dark fringe we don't see at all. Yeah, we only see a bright fringe. And you can see um, the first order bright fringe is the first bright fringe. Uh, again, it follow order. It follow order. Uh, so for first order bright fringe is first bright fringe. Uh, it has a central order. It has a zero order. So for diffraction grating, uh, it start from zero. Uh, it start from zero. Not like single slit start from one. Diffraction grating start from zero, uh, just like double slit. Double slit, double slit. Also, uh, the the order also start from zero. Uh, and so on. Yeah. Uh, so for double slits, also the order start from zero. Only the single slit start from one. Double slits and diffraction grating both start from zero order. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I, I actually already summarized like this. Uh, you see that the double slits and sing diffraction, diffraction grating both start order from zero. Uh, just the, the alphabet, uh, diffraction grating still diffraction, uh, you use N instead of M. Okay, double slit use... Uh, Zero, uh, it start from zero order. Diffraction grade double slit use start from zero order. The diffraction grade also start from zero order. But the single slit start from first order. Uh, okay. So double slit and single double slit and diffraction grade thing is like is is the same. The formula also the same. Okay. So uh, you see, follow the order. Uh, the zero order thing is start from the zero order and it has a central bright fringe. So the zero order is a central bright fringe. The first order bright fringe is the first bright fringe. The second order bright fringe is the second bright fringe. It follow the order like this one. See, diffraction grating zero order. It follow the order. Zero order is a central order. Central because diffraction grating has a central bright fringe, and it has zero order. So that's why the zero order become the central. The first order become the first bright. Uh, follow the order. Dark fringe none. We don't consider the dark fringe. Or depression grating. Okay, about this order, I will uh, further emphasize, uh, explain later. Okay, I uh, using this summarize uh, table to summarize all three double slit, single slit, and depression grating. I will explain about this later uh, with graph together. Yeah, I've already prepared this uh, graph for you. Uh, this uh, figure for you for easier understanding. Okay, now uh, all right, I have finished about this. Let's look at, um, so we don't have dark fringe, only the bright fringe. Also have top and bottom part. Now, let's look at this one, yeah? Uh, okay, I think this one for the next video, okay? Thank you for, for, for watching.